Hello everybody and welcome to episode 11 of Let's Play Republic the Revolution. Having left off the previous episode in a precarious situation, this episode we shall be trying our utmost to stabilize it. We will be working to undermine the socialists at every possible opportunity and to do what we can to take out the foul Moritz Kalmakov, whose, res whose resolve remains far too high for my liking. So as always, we shall send Mr. Ivan Prochnov to do his work. In the meantime, it would also help for us to organize some activities by Comrade Oleg Baturin. Because the Church of Novistrana and Moritz Kalmakov continues to publish its filth, its drivel, attempting to target us. It appears that Moritz has yet to learn his lesson, and however, this will not persist for long. We will work our utmost to break his very spirit, to destroy his will to carry on, if that is what is necessary for us to achieve victory. At the very same time, we must look for a new person to recruit as the fourth member of our movement. Our old childhood friend Boris Filatov could perhaps be a good member. Although I do not believe that we need another person who, who is driven solely by wealth. Because we could go after Pavel Pavlov just as easily. I believe that we need somebody with a personality driven by force, since Joseph Nasarov has left a large gap that needs to be filled. It's at times like this that I regret the fact that I didn't free that former military general from Ekaterine's prison. But in spite of it all, I believe that so far I've been doing what is right. My movements have generally been the correct ones. I've generally done what was right to do. And now we shall see very soon whether what we are doing right here and right now will be the right thing or not. We are increasing our knowledge ever further of the, of the surrounding areas, but it is important for us not only to foil the attempts of the Church of Noistrana to, to slander us, but also to break down the resolve of the socialists, to vanquish them from the town of Ekaterine. Just as we have done with the Church, so we shall do with the, church, with the socialists. Just as we are breaking the spirit of Moritz Kalmakov, we shall also shatter the spirits of the socialists, of men such as Mr. Let's check his name, such as Mr. Belov, and other members of this filthy socialist movement. At the very same time, we must gather more resources for our movement by securing larger portions of the city. We need to strengthen the NPRM as much as we can. The rankings are in and our recovery has begun. We have once more taken over as the strongest opposition movement in Ekaterine. We have overtaken the socialists although by a small margin. It is up to us to increase this margin, to strengthen the movement, to expand its control. 
and this is hopefully what we should be able to do in the coming days. In the meantime, however, the church has gained a large portion of support of the support in Turbina Park. This must be acted against. And so, I believe that I shall hold a rally. The best location for this would be Lizitsky Towers, since it will reduce the necessity for Komrad Baturin to go there and work on his own. Instead, we shall have Baturin busy denouncing the Church of Novistrana in Turbina Park. This way, we can secure this valuable neighborhood for ourselves and strengthen our movement in all spheres. Ivan Krochnov, meanwhile, is also doing very good things for the movement. He's contributing invaluably. And I wish that I'd had people like him earlier on. The activities of Baturin have been successful so far in Lizitsky Towers and in Turbina Park. Hopefully, it shall continue this way. Although the socialists are pressing down on our windpipes quite heavily. We must act, and we must act decisively. Perhaps I should try to recruit Mr. Konrad Belov to take him away from the Union of Socialist Workers. But first we shall give Ivan Prochnov his promotion, since he is making a very great contribution to our movement. We shall thus improve his control. This would be more important than charisma in my opinion. We need him to be our smooth operator, the man who gets things done behind the scenes. We shall strengthen his debt collection action. And meanwhile, we shall continue our good work. The rally has been successful in the Zitsky Towers, and hopefully we will have more successful activities in the future. I wish that Konrad Belov's activities, or should I say his resolve, wasn't as high as it is. Because he is proving invaluable for the socialists. And it would be very, very good for me if I could take him away from them. In the, min in the meantime, we have begun the next day. We have gained control of Turbina Park and Lizitsky Towers. But now we must take crucial action so as to gain control of Morozov Manor once more. We must in general expand our activities as much as we can to fulfill the mission that we have been given so as to gain control of the areas around Morozov Manor. I believe that we have recovered sufficiently from our recent setbacks to begin this undertaking. And so I believe that we need to begin to expand our movement's operations once more.
I wish that we could expand the size of our HQ, to be honest. Although it's hard to find an appropriate location. Regardless, I believe that we should look for a fourth member before trying to find space for the fifth one. We have lots, lots of activities to arrange, and we must do it swiftly. I will carry out an investigation of the Shubnoi and Korolev regions, and hopefully expand our clout in the area. Let's see what's going on with Mr. Baturi. He appears to be organizing a charity event. Helping out the locals in every way that he can. This charity work is helping our movement immensely. And we shall continue it in such a way that we shall break the vax of the church and of the socialists. We must gradually now shift towards combating the socialists in whatever shape or form they may take. They have become the primary threat to our movement. And now we have begun to publish Propaganda of our own against the Union of Socialist Workers. And at the very same time, we have finally persuaded Moritz Kalmakov to leave the Church of Novistrana. We have scared him out, and this is very good. Because now we have some breeding room once again. We don't have the Church constantly chipping away at the resolve of our members. Now the NPRM has a great chance at success. And hopefully we can carry this success forwards into the future. And forwards to victory. I am however getting frustrated by the fact that Comrade Nasarov has yet to come back to me. He has yet to come back begging and pleading to be accepted into the NPRM once more. And so I believe that we will need to persuade him soon, before the socialists get to him. In the same time, he must work to weaken the members of the socialists and the church. Although first we require sufficient information, which is something that we currently lack. We need to find the members of the socialists before we go after them, which is easier said than done. We've gained a large amount of knowledge concerning Korolev Court, and, and it appears to be dominated by the Mafia, which is in no way whatsoever welcome by us. It is important to finish our task of taking over Morozov Manor and Voronezh fields, because then we will be finally successful. We will have achieved our noble goals. And once we finish this mission, I will condescend to attempt to recruit 
Joseph Nasarov back into the NPRM because he was indeed a valuable contributor to the movement, no matter how reluctant I may be to admit it. And now day 36 has dawned. Let's see how our movement is faring. We've gained no additional points, which is a very unfortunate development. And resolve has begun to fall among our membership. My own personal resolve is especially low, and I fear the significance of this. Our movement is starting to slowly fall apart. And I am very fed up with it. At this point it is just a pro in its prolonged death throes. Though we might just be able to change this if we take sufficient action. We must, as I said, fulfill the goals we have set. We must reach our targets if we wish to be successful. I shall hold a rally in Turbina Park, so as not to lose it to the foul socialists. Our newspaper continues to post articles against the socialists, to publish anti-socialist works, which is very good. Meanwhile, the socialists are threatening to retaliate against us. Well, isn't that just very, very scary? I honestly do not give a damn. If the socialists want to act against us, they can feel free to do so. Because we are not going to let ourselves get pushed around by these lowlifes. By scumbags who have no idea what it means to truly lead a revolution. Let's hope that our activities for today shall be successful. We desperately need to raise our resolve. That much is very, very clear to see. We must also continue our fight without end. We must be decisive and resolute if we wish to save our movement from disintegration. We are at an important threshold, one which we cannot mess up. We need to also be economical with our resources, of course. Since we have been spending lots of money recently to keep our movement afloat. We need to expand our operations and to find alternative methods by which to strengthen ourselves. Three more days have passed and the latest reports are in. The NPRM is on the verge of recovery. It's gradually closing in on its previous strength. We are once more on the threshold of reaching 50% of Ekaterine, and we are leaving the socialists behind in the dust. All appears to bode well for our movement. All we have to do now, as I said before, 
is continue on our upwards course. Meanwhile, I shall, I shall continue my investigations. Perhaps we could find somebody who would act as a proper substitute to Mr. Nasarov. As somebody capable of consuming our force points productively. That would be very, very welcome, to say the very least. We appear to have succeeded in our mission. Everything is now in place for the grand opening of the casino. Now we must simply instruct Oleg Brilin to begin this grand opening, which we shall do in due time. We will however leave that for the next episode. Until then, if you are enjoying the series, do not forget to leave a like and a comment and to subscribe to my channel. I've been the Nerd Gamer and thank you very much for watching. I will see you all in the very next episode of Let's Play Republic The Revolution.